Hi, I'm Martha Perkins, 422 Park Avenue, a 20 plus year resident of Swarthmore, board member of Swarthmore Town Center, owner of Gallery and Park, and enthusiastic cheerleader for our town. I've enjoyed watching the positive changes that have been unfolding around us with properties getting long overdue renovations, storefronts being filled, and wine being poured. I also do believe that high-end condo living could be an asset to our community if the location, scale, and design support the plan. In my opinion, this proposed plan does not accomplish these goals. The location and design of this proposed plan have issues that I feel impact the safety of pedestrians and drivers. I know I'll repeat a little bit here, but I'll be brief. Um, the current design has a single lane entrance to the parking garage directly off of Park Avenue. This means that cars going in will have to wait for cars coming out to move forward. The resulting congestion, in addition to cars wanting to pull out or into parking spaces along park and the impact it will have on pedestrian traffic is in the least concerning. And having an alarm going off every time a car comes in and out is also concerning. Oh, where am I? And while I'm talking about parking, <laughs> Even though the residents will have their own parking spots, they can still use the parking on Park Avenue. And what about their guests? Where will they park? Can this area of our town support the overflow that is bound to come with 36 condo units? In the Swarthmore Town Center Zoning Code 1256, Section G, it states, provide for adequate parking in a manner that does not interfere with pedestrian traffic or the rhythm of the existing streetscape. Clearly, this design does not achieve this goal. Another concern I have is the proposed scale of this building. In this plan as it stands, the developers would like to remove three existing two-story structures and replace them with a single five-story structure. As stated in the Town Center Zoning District, Section C, promote the reuse of existing structures and the construction of new structures in a manner that maintains the visual character and architectural scale of the Town Center. Clearly, this design does not achieve this goal. And finally, I'm concerned that the Celia building that the developers would like to knock down should be preserved. This is where my business, Gallery on Park, HOM and Six Apartments are currently located. Having a love for the historic buildings in Swarthmore that add to its charms and quaint charm and quaintness, I decided to find out what I could about the Celia building. I found an ad in the Swarthmoreian that states the business was established in 1904, started off as a shoe shop owned by Joe Celia, and has been supporting local businesses ever since. As stated in the Town Center Zoning District Code, Section B, encourage the retention of the Town Center streetscape by preserving the existing buildings of historic significance to the greatest extent possible. Clearly, this design does not achieve this goal. But you don't have to take my word for it. In my search for the facts, I finally reached out to Beverly Barnes, the Historic Preservation Manager at the Delaware County Planning Department, as I believe that clearly the architectural character and age of this building would make it of historic significance to our town. Beverly stated, good question about what constitutes historically significant. It really is up to each municipality to determine what criteria they use, but to be objective, they usually agree whatever resources are in their approved historic resource survey. Your building is in it, number 045SW258. And as it is in Town Center Zoning District and is in the Swarthmore Historic Survey, it seems clear the borough intends to protect it. She also stated that if any questions arise at the meeting, please tell them I'm happy to meet or talk on the phone with anyone to continue the conversation of how best Swarthmore can protect and promote the amazing historical built environment they have. Based on what I have read and heard, I firmly believe you should reject the plans as submitted and take Beverly up on her offer to answer any questions you may have about preserving and protecting the historic properties in Swarthmore. <laughs>